Hi. Oh, you've caught, caught me uh, unawares. So, I'm going to do the work solution nine. It's dead straightforward. You can do this falling off a log. So, work solution nine is all about finding the neutral axis and remind you that I said that the neutral axis is the same as the centroid and you know how to find a centroid. Um, um, so what we're going to do is start off by splitting up the our section into various rectangles and we're going to find the centroids for those various rectangle sections that's probably not there was it um, and then you use the area as the weight times it by the centroid value for that particular location and then divide it by the total weight but what we want you to do is to do this like you're doing a tax form so that you're going to use a specific table which will if you learn this table it will then help you to go on to do the next bit which is the second area of mom uh, the second second moment of area sorry <laughs> okay so if, learn this bit of table do it sort of landscape landscape and then carry on your table for when you come on to the next part so I've, we've divided it up into three sections we m label up our dimensions for each section we're going to be looking for a breadth and for a depth for each time uh, find the midpoints for each of them so this one will be half half its depth this one here will take the height plus half its depth this one here will take the these two heights and then half its depth okay remember that and then the first column that we'll do is the breadth the depth and then the y which is the centroid for the each particular section that you're looking at if you get your columns wrong way round or you do one after the other it doesn't really matter that's not important each section is going to have an area so each section will therefore have area times its centroid position so area times central position will be another column that we want area will be another column that we want and then to find the, uh, the final centroid we're going to sum up all the first area of moments that's the AY terms <coughs> and then divide them by the sum of the areas and that will give us what I'm calling the neutral axis so this is the table that we want you to use we label up each rectangle so one two and three we find its breadth and we fill in the value here we find its depth fill in the value here take the two values multiply them together find the area then find the centroid then put it in here and then take area times centroid and then we find the AY value so these have been partially filled in the this uh, this table so that's that's our first rectangle 150 depth of 10 this one here be careful that you take the total height here and then half this height so we want all this height so we could have a one there and half this height and here we want to have all this height all this height and then half its height I should be saying depth really should I be using the word depth because we're imagining that the weight is going to be on top so that's why we're saying we're using the word depth uh, and then sum up my AY columns sum up my A columns one divided by tother and that gives me the result this is the si uh, this table we've decided to work in millimeters 
Okay, so either work in meters or millimeters, usually because of dimensions and stuff, it will work out easier if you work in millimeters. But that means that your final answer here is going to be in millimeters, so be aware of that. So my final answer it will be 65. Have a little look where 65 appears on your graph, uh, on your sort of diagram. Does it seem sensible? If 65 was up here, for example, um, then we know that we've gone wrong. And that's it. Dead easy, isn't it? Okay, don't even need, need to do your problem sheet on that. Mm-hmm.